This is Stuart Cameron with a look at yesterday's rugby from the borders. And we start with Hoyk Rugby Club, who are back with the big boys, following their nail-biting five-try winning performance against Dundee High School FP by 39 points to 38. It happened at Megatland, and it means they clinched promotion back to the Premiership. It was a remarkable performance from the Greens, whose tries were scored by Rory Hutton, Graham Hogg, Keith Davis, Matt Landles and Scott McLeod, with Ali Weir converting four of them and landing a penalty, as did Rory Hutton. They conceded no less than three penalty tries against a powerful Dundee pack, but in a tense, remarkable game, they now joined Gala and Melrose next season in the Premiership. Here's a rather happy Rory Hutton. That means everything to the club, eh? Everybody in Hoyk and the place for the club believes that's where we belong and it shows here with the support. It's like we've won the World Cup. Eh? <laughs> Border spirit again and uh, I mean Dundee obviously played uh, the game up front, up the jumper and three penalty tries which is almost unheard of in rugby but uh, at the end of the day I think it was Breen beat the Braun. Well it's, we came here to play rugby eh, and uh, it looked like they just came to bully us and it did work to them for a degree but... Uh, Speaking as a rugby fan today, nobody wants to see teams winning games like that. And the way the uh, performance that we put into that game and the, the ability that the boys have got, uh, I think we, we need to be up there to show that. Eh? How tense was that, though? 39-38? <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't, couldn't get much closer. Eh? Uh, <laughs> penalty try for them right at the end. and You just think, oh, we kind of let this slip. Eh? and Just to, to grind it out and... You can see that there's like 15 boys chasing the bouncing ball at the end and any teams are come to start flying in, bodies on the line and I just think that we deserve, we've got what we deserve there. And Hoyt back in the Premiership? That's it, that's, that's where it is and that's where it always should be. So. Against Gala and Melrose, bring yeah, it on. Bring it on. <laughs> I say, you know, we've got things to work on, obviously there'll be scr- bigger scrums and that to come up against next year but uh, if we can add to the squad and... Shows, the, shows what we've got already here, like we've had Neil Rennick, Gary, Gary Johnston, Lee Armstrong away that have been mainstays throughout the season and boys that come in to, to perform like that, it's, it's, it's a testament to themselves. You can watch the highlights of that match right now on Borders Rugby Television at Borders Rugby. Net. And it wasn't the only reason for Hoyk to celebrate as Hoyt Lindeen and Hoyk Harlequins were both promoted to East League One on Friday night in a rather bizarre set of circumstances. The Scottish Rugby Union issued a statement on Friday evening to say that Gala YM from East League Two had been disqualified from the league after not fulfilling four fixtures throughout the season and promptly relegated them down to Division Three. That meant all games involving Gala YM were wiped off the league table from the season, leaving Lindeen top and Harlequin second, and both going up. It also meant that Lindeen's game against Earlson yesterday became academic, but even so, they celebrated promotion with an 88-21 thrashing, and they also lift the Fraser James Partnership Limited trophy as the Borders Team of the Year from the East League representatives. Moving to the Kings of the Sevens and we're now halfway through the tournament following the Langham leg played yesterday. And history was made as Selkirk lifted the trophy for the first time since 1925. Their 88-year wait ended with an emphatic win against Edinburgh Ackies in the final 36-10, having put out Carlisle, Jed Forrest and Watsonians. Player of the tournament was Selkirk's Darren Clapperton, who spoke with Stuart McFarlane. Oh, it, was, it was a great day for the boys. Okay, I lost my voice for shouting so much in that tie, but no, honestly, it was brilliant. All the boys put in a great effort and just loved it. I'm buzzing. The side seemed to have a bit of everything this afternoon. Well organised, defensively, creative players, and you yourself coming in with uh, a number of tries during the day. Ah, well, the, Ken, the previous tournaments has been just we've just been that much short of winning ties. It's just been that much, and the day we've just came out there and we've. Okay, we've played well and scored a lot of tries and yeah, it's, been, it's been great, great day. Finally, how much confidence will this give you going forward? You've peoples tomorrow and then of course we're at that sort of midway point now Do you feel you can maybe come with a run and really ah, challenge? Well, well, we'll be hoping so anyway but tomorrow might be a different day with can we win on the day, <laughs> might be a few rough boys Going into round six of the Kings of the Sevens at Peebles this afternoon, Gala stay top with 28, Watsonians are second on 19, and Edinburgh Ackies third with 18. Showing how close it is, Hoyker then on 17, with four teams on 13 points, Jed Forrest, Selkirk, Heriots and Melrose. Well, you can join Stuart McCulloch and myself for full coverage of the Peebles Sevens. That's on Radio Borders this afternoon from one o'clock. And as usual, all the latest news, results, video, audio and radio Rankings can be found at bordersrugby.net.
Stark, Main & Co. are a UK award-winning firm of chartered tax advisors and accountants committed to offering high-quality tax and business advisory services. With a committed and professional team, we have the focus and drive to help you change the numbers which are important to you. We are proud of the difference we can make together.